Welcome to a new question of the day. After several videos on how to describe quantitative data, we ask ourselves, how can we describe a series of qualitative data? For example, brand preference of a group of consumers. We'll answer this question using flat sorting, mode, as well as pie charts. Here's a data set relative to a sample of clients from an online shoe selling platform. They are described by different variables. You wish to describe clients according to a qualitative variable, their brand preference. The different values a qualitative variable can take are called levels or categories. Here, categories correspond to brands A, B, C, and D. We're able to count the number of occurrences of each category within this variable and express these numbers either in the form of frequencies or in the form of percentages. This technique is called flat sorting. It's interesting to pay attention to the most frequent category in the flat sorting. This category is what we call the mode. Here, the mode corresponds to brand C. Brand C is thus the most popular brand in our client database. Go to Describing Data and click on Descriptive Statistics. In the Qualitative Variables field, select the Preferred Brand column. In the Outputs tab, select the statistics you want to see. Mode, Categories, Frequency per Category, as well as Relative Frequency per Category. In the Charts tab, activate Bar Charts and Pie Charts and click on OK. Here are the results. We retrieve the mode in addition to the frequencies and the percentages associated with each category. Bar Charts represent frequencies on the y-axis and levels on the x-axis. The pie chart has one section per category. The surface of each section is proportional to the category frequency. Quantitative variables may be divided into classes. The obtained classes can be described using qualitative variables descriptive tools. For example, it is sometimes more convenient to describe age classes instead of quantitative values of age. Now that we've described isolated variables, why not describe links between pairs of variables? For example, brand preference according to geographic origin. This will be the topic on our next question of the day. We'll talk about crosstabs. See you soon.